very pleased to announce NVIDIA Quantum Optifi's device architecture, or CODA. CODA is the platform for hybrid quantum classical computing built to address the challenges facing application developers and domain scientists looking to incorporate quantum acceleration into their applications, whether through emulated or a quantum processor. CODA is open and QPU agnostic. As you'll see shortly, we're partnering with quantum hardware companies across a broad range of qubit modalities to ensure it provides a unified platform that enables all hybrid quantum classical systems, as well as quantum algorithm companies and research institutions to ensure it addresses the needs of developers. It includes a kernel-based programming model with both single source C++ and Python implementations, as well as a compiler toolchain for hybrid systems and a stan standard library of quantum algorithmic primitives. CODA integrates with today's high-performance applications and is interoperable with leading parallel programming techniques and software. It allows a domain scientist to quickly and easily move between running all or parts of their applications on the best classical computing resources, the best simulated quantum computing resources, and the best real quantum computing resources. With CODA, NVIDIA is kicking off another revolution in developer accessibility to disruptive compute technologies allowing domain scientists to seamlessly leverage quantum acceleration tightly coupled with the best of GPU supercomputing. Over the next few slides, we'll dig in a bit on some of the features of CODA. For starters, CODA is designed to be familiar and productive for domain scientists who work on today's leading scientific computing workloads. CODA follows the CUDA annotated kernel approach but does so with typed function objects like lambdas to enable the development of algorithmic libraries that are generic with regards to input quantum kernel code. We see this here with the variational quantum eigen solver, where programmers can define parameterized quantum kernel expressions and use them as input to algorithmic libraries. In this case, CODA VQE. CODA provides a set of built-in types pertinent for quantum computing. Here we see the ability to allocate quantum memory types, and operate on them with built-in quantum operations. We also see how easy it is to construct the built-in spin-op type to define Hamiltonians for variational tasks such as this, or for other circuit synthesis approaches. The overall programming efficiency seen here for scientists to go from a parameterized ansatz and Hamiltonian to a fully running variational quantum eigen solver on a DGX platform or a physical QPU is what really stands out here. This code snippet demonstrates the underlying philosophy of the CODA programming model, to provide core concepts to describe quantum code expressions, and then promote the utility of a standard library of generic functions, enabling hybrid quantum classic, classical composability. Now that we've seen some code, let's take a look at some performance. CODA is designed from the ground up for high performance hybrid computing, whether on an emulated processor or a physical quantum processor. Here we're looking at preliminary performance results of the CODA implementation of a variational quantum eigen solver running on an A100 GPU, and then comparing it to a leading framework also running on an A100. So we have a GPU to GPU comparison here and can pull out the performance benefit of the CODA software stack. When running in an emulated environment, CODA leverages QQuantum as a backend. We see here that at 20 qubits, we're already up to a 287x speedup over the leading framework, also running on an A100 GPU. Interoperability with today's scientific computing applications and the programming models and libraries they leverage is a core design principle behind CODA. CODA in interoperates with standard language parallelism, OpenMP, OpenACC, and CUDA, allowing a domain scientist to incrementally add quantum acceleration where it makes sense to their existing applications. Here we're looking at the quantum imaginary time evolution, or kite algorithm, which is an algorithm for computing energies in fields like material science, chemistry, and nuclear physics. This algorithm is intrinsically hybrid and iterative, with each iteration depending on a linear solve from the previous iteration. Each linear system solve depends on a tomography step that's done on the QPU. Clearly, this is an opportunity for GPU-QPU interoperability, and this code snippet demonstrates just that. Here we use CODA to compute expectation values of a set of poly spin-op instances, 
and use that as input to a KuSolver linear system solve, the results of which feed into the next iteration of the algorithm. Coda also enables exploration of hybrid quantum configurations that aren't practical in the near term. For example, we can execute a Coda program on emulated hybrid resources consisting of multiple GPUs for classical computing and multiple emulated QPUs to evaluate the benefit of multiple QPUs for scaling quantum algorithms. Coda provides core abstractions for reasoning about the underlying quantum platform and asynchronously executing tasks on available QPUs. In the example on this slide, we're simulating a hybrid hydrogen chain using a variational quantum eigensolver, and we see near-perfect strong scaling up to four simulated QPUs of 28 qubits each on a DGXA100 system. This just scratches the surface of the quantum design space that can be explored with a Coda program running on an NVIDIA accelerated supercomputer. As I noted earlier when reviewing the adoption of KuQuantum by the quantum computing community, Partnering with the ecosystem is a core tenet of our strategy in quantum computing, and Coda is no different. From the very beginning, we've been designing Coda with collaboration from leading quantum computing hardware companies, algorithm companies, and research institutions. I'm thrilled to announce that Coda will support a large and growing list of quantum processors, including those from IQM, Pascal, Quantinium, Quantum Brilliance, and Xanadu. Additionally, leading quantum software companies, QCWare and Zapata, are collaborating with us to use Coda with end users who are building the hybrid quantum classical applications of the future. And supercomputing centers are working with us to test and deploy Coda for thousands of scientific computing developers around the world, including at Ulish, NERSC, and Oak Ridge National Laboratories.